Hey guys, this is a follow-up video to the video I just posted to my channel uh, regarding the iPad Pro M1 running the iPad OS developer beta. So I'm going to show off some accessories I'm using. This is the USB-C to HDMI cable I'm using. It is um, Uni. It is on Amazon. The link is in my video description below. Also, this is the Apple Digital AV Adapter. You can see there it has power with USB-C, HDMI, as well as a USB-A. And you can see here, this is the Apple USB-A to Ethernet. This only does 100 meg down, 100 meg up, but it's good enough. I just wanted to try it out with the iPad just to see. All right, we also have a Zeskit HDMI 2.0B cable. So this will get me my full resolution. You can see there, Cinnamon Plus, not that it matters. Just a regular HDMI cable. Okay, next accessory is the Apple Magic Keyboard. You can see, pretty cool. Here's the Magic Mouse as well. Again, this all works with the iPad. You see here, Xbox controller. All right, so I'm gonna be plugging in this HDMI cable into my LG OLED TV. It's 4K, 120 Hertz, HDR, one millisecond response. So I'm plugging this into HDMI 3. I have my gaming PC that has an RTX 3090 in it. That is plugged in HDMI 1, but uh, you can see here, plugging everything into this Apple digital AV adapter. And this way I'll be able to charge as well. So you see there, I'm plugging the ethernet in, this gigabit ethernet going to um, 100 meg uh, Ethernet adapter. I can see the Apple AV adapter. I have everything plugged into it. The USB Ethernet. I have an HDMI 2.0B cable as well as power. You see there I got Diablo loaded up. Now look at the speed test. Not bad, right? 1ms ping, 94 down, 93 up. But you can see how the window, the Safari window, is kind of, um, kind of stretched a little, right? So that's likely a bug in the developer beta that'll likely get fixed. Uh, some things I've noticed as well, Diablo runs fine on the tablet itself. However, whenever I put it up to the TV, it turns it sideways and stretches it. So again, bugs, uh, that'll get fixed eventually. But, um, all right. So I got Diablo graphic settings open while I have TikTok running in the background and you can see there no response from the tablet, right? So again, developer beta guys, it's, uh, um, pretty unresponsive sometimes I've been noticing lately. You see there, all the graphic settings are cranked up. And again, I don't know if this is the cause of it or not, but, uh, um, you know, it runs everything fine and then it starts acting up. So again, it's the developer beta. I'm not surprised. All right. So this is what I was talking about earlier, um, running Diablo on full screen on the, um, well, my case, the OLED TV. So you can see there it's, it's on there. It's responsive. There's really no lag. It's, uh, just sideways. <laughs> I went through the accessibility options. I, I did as much as I could. I could not turn this um, in the correct orientation the way it should be. But I figured by the next developer release um, or two, uh, these should be fixed. Um, again, not surprised. Uh, at least it's working somewhat. <laughs> it gives me hope. Eventually, we'll be able to just plug an iPad in and start gaming. Now, here's what I wanted to touch on, guys. The Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming. Uh, so you can see here, I got pretty much almost a full screen up for Safari. For whatever reason, if I do a full screen where it fills the whole TV, it does not work. Um, you can see here, using the cursor, everything works. I can select a game. However, the only problem is whenever I do select a game, I hit play. It does nothing. It'll load up. It'll look like it's loading, right? Well, guess what, guys? It's not going to load. <laughs> it crashes. So again, incompatibility issues. All this will get updated in time. Thanks for watching.